Well, it's time to get legal with yet another edition of the Doctor's Court. Yeah. Court is in session. Legal analyst Sarah Zari is here to keep us all straight. That includes you, Dr. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> you have to work that out. First up on our docket, here's the case. A former Purdue University basketball player is being sued for a million dollars by an ex-lover who claims he gave her chlamydia and herpes and lied about being tested. Is this player's game up? That is the question. So what are the issues here, Sarah? Well, I think not to minimize this woman's claims, but I think you also have to look at the veracity of this woman. This was not an affair. It was a one-night stand. Um, there is this period where we don't know whether she had other partners. She claims she did not come into contact with anyone else. Um, but we have to check that out, and that's going to come out in the discovery process during the course of this lawsuit. Also, it turns on whether he had knowledge. Did he have symptoms of the herpes? Was he actually diagnosed with herpes? Because in his response of paperwork in court, he says that he was diagnosed with chlamydia and then he was cleared of that. Maybe the health center misdiagnosed him. That could be possible. He had no symptoms, so he had no way of knowing. I mean, he, you know, there are issues here that need to be looked into. I wouldn't say it's a slam dunk claim by yeah, her. Yeah, I mean, medically, he could have an STD that he got after being tested, so yes. I, I think there's a lot of... Right. Before. Or, she could have had exactly. before. Exactly, and it's about what he had and what he knew he had at the time, or should have known he had even, at the time he came into contact with her. That's what's relevant here. I worry about this that, because I think that it, there's a propensity lately of, let's just settle this. Mm -hmm. So in other words, this girl's gonna get some money. It may not be the million, but does that not open Pandora's box? for like, I mean, like you said, it, it was a one night thing. Right. So now but all of a sudden if I made, it wouldn't happen with me obviously, but because I'm sure. 35 years, 35 years, and, 35 years of friend. marriage, I don't want to lose 50% of what I own. The, uh, <laughs> and, and, and you love her. And I love her, and, and, and I love, love her. But, yeah. it, but I just think that this, this is, a problem for me that you know that this girl and and the, and the other problem so is that she you, found a lawyer that was willing to say yeah let's go after it. of course he's an athlete he yeah. has money yeah and that's what we have to always be concerned about so you know? in general if he did have herpes maybe he didn't know because a lot of people will have the herpes virus they won't have any lesions but you can still transmit the virus to someone else even if you have no clue that you have herpes and even if you wear a condom some sexually transmitted infections like herpes are the human papilloma virus is skin to skin contact. Mm -hmm. So while condoms are still very important because they can help protect against things like HIV, chlamydia, they can decrease the probability right. of herpes or HPV, that you can still get those sexually transmitted infections by skin to skin contact. So it seems like mm -hmm. this will be very hard to prove. Yeah. It is Every college kid in America and, just freaked and, out. And correct <laughs> me, me if I'm wrong, the average person, even the most responsible person, doesn't do an STD test every month. I mean, it's not right. that regular. That, so it's like you can't hold this guy to not being responsible. If he had come into contact with somebody who he believed was infected and then he didn't go and get tested, that's a different story. If he had um, evidence of you know the symptoms, then you know obviously he had some knowledge. But if he had no clue and no reason to know, um, I don't think that you can hold him well, to be and responsible. That's, the big, that's a big issue, Did right, Sarah? Know? Knowingly, sure. if you knowingly have an, an STD, not only are you morally... Obligated to disclose. Obligated yeah. and guilty, you may have legal uh, exposure. Absolutely. So, so the thing mm -hmm. is, if you are interested in a one-night stand, just make sure you think to yourself, <laughs> is it worth the risk?